How long have you been in England? Three years. I wanted to come before, but I had nothing to offer. I am settled now. I have work and friends. I have a daughter. Usher, Sally told me. You abandoned me. You were the one who disappeared. I thought you'd forgotten me. No, never. I had to finish my contract and I was at sea for years and years. I wrote to you. Sally said she delivered my letters. Did you get them? Eventually, yes. But you never gave me a return address. And then your letter stopped. I didn't know if you were dead or alive. Now I learn you've been here all along. Why didn't you come and find me? I was afraid you wouldn't want to see me. And I didn't want to hold you to a promise that we made in another time. After all, I, I was just a sailor, a Lusker. And I was just an ayah. But now, you're an educated, accomplished, clever woman. What would you want with a brute like me? So many years have passed, Hari. I'm not the same person. Great. What would you say is Hari's intention in the scene? Um, I feel like it's about sort of comforting her and actually getting her to see, I'm, I'm here for you, come be with me. Like, I'm, I've done all of this for you. There's something when he says three years that I want to explore maybe. Mm. What does, he, what does he think is going to happen when he says that? When he says, I've been here for three years and I've, yeah. I've not come to find you. It's funny because the language immediately goes to, I, I, I was, I was going to come before, but I, I literally yeah. had nothing. So it, he knows she's going to be angry with mm -hmm. him. And there's actually sort of, it's that thing of like, I'm really sorry, but I did this for a reason. Mm. Yeah. And do you think... I think another question is how much of what he says is planned and how much is unplanned. Because when he first arrives, he's got that little speech where Dadabai and Sally are still there and it's yeah. very clear. Where does he lose control here? I think it's actually when she's, you abandoned me and I was like, well, no, you, you, you left me. Well, I, I had to finish my contract. There, there's no... Are these thoughts that he's had at all? Or are they things that are happening in the moment? Like, how much of Ooh. her response has he played, pre yeah. preempted, and how much of this is the rug being pulled out from under his legs? I think I think you're right. I think it's all of it. I think all of it is just like, oh my god, that's, yeah. this is not what this was supposed to be. And I think when I'm, I'm wondering when he realizes that there's something mm. in that moment of three years. Yeah. Well, you know when you know something and then you, as, a, as you're about to say it out loud for the first time, you're like, oh, oh, this is going to sound quite bad, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a definitely like a, just a, there's a hint of a thing, isn't there? There's a little thing there. And especially because it's, I've always thought the way it's written is three years. And then, like you say, it just goes off on one. Yeah. Like you say, that action of like defensiveness. Yeah before she's even gotten angry, yeah. you start to defend yourself. Apologise, yeah. Yeah, and apologise. And what would you say is Rani's intention here? I think that yeah. she has literally I think that she has literally thought that he's dead. He's dead, she hasn't heard from him. And she even asks in a few scenes before she yes. asks Feroza, that do you think he's still alive? And Feroza's like, do you know what? No one's heard from him. And Laska's always share news and no one's heard from him. And yeah. there is this thing of like, oh my God. But then he shows up and it's like, <gasps> um, so it's a lot for her. I think when he actually does show up, she thinks that he's, he's, just, he's just arrived yeah. in England. Like he's just got there. But when he says that like he's been here for this long, that's like, Wait a second, mm. what? You've, you've been here all this while. You've known, you've known where I've been. You know I have a daughter. You know yeah. how I have a daughter. Like, what do you think of yourself? Like, and, and I think 
the anger is coming from just the, the thought that, you know, you can't just show up one day and, you know, try and yeah. like save me. I don't need saving. And not just any day, the moment I've decided to leave. Exactly, which is a weird coincidence in the, you know, but mm. that's also like, she, yeah, she, moments before this, she's, she's told other that she's going to go back to India with him. And she has been really confident about that yeah. decision, actually. Um, it's best for Asha, it's best for their, them as a family to have some stability. Um, and then he shows up and it's as if like, like, I think there's a certain, it, all of it is driving her a bit crazy. It's like, oh, with this entitled man, like, showing up and being like, okay, I'm here now. So don't worry, you, you'll be fine. Like, mm. it's, it's all of that. And it's, it's, yeah. I wonder if this time then we try play it, explore what that, this is not how I thought this was going to go, feels. And that sense of being caught off guard, what, what that does to Hari, but maybe also for Rani, I'm interested in her, her age at this point and if she's fighting against the anger. Because what I'm hearing more there, it's just the like, what? What did you think was gonna happen? Mm. And there are moments where there's definitely moments where she is angry, but what, what if we try it this time as more like, like you say, the conviction that I'm going? Mm. Okay. Okay. Should we just try that? Mm -hmm. so, see what happens. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been in England? Three years. I, I wanted to come before, but I had nothing to offer. I'm settled now. I have work and friends. I have a daughter. Usher. Sally told me. She's 11 years old. You abandoned me. You were the one who disappeared. I thought you'd forgotten me. No. N never. I had to finish my contract and I was at sea for years and years. I, I wrote to you. Sally said she delivered my letters. Did you get them? Eventually, yeah. But you never gave me a return address. And then your letter stopped. I didn't know if you were dead or alive. Now I learn you've been here all along. Why didn't you come and find me? I was afraid you wouldn't want to see me. I didn't want to hold you to a promise that we made in another time. After all, I was, I was just a sailor. A Alaska. I was just an ayah. But now, you're an educated, co accomplished, clever woman. Mm. What would you want with a brute like me? So many years of fast, Hadi. I'm not the same person. Great. I just went on that line at the end there. Mm -hmm. I know. Cold, cold, cold. cold. And there's something in that moment just there where I was like, oh, she's going to say no. <laughs> I believed that. I was like, yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh. Yeah, I felt so weird to do <laughs> it like that. Because it, weird as in because it's just... It's so funny how, you know, in rehearsals, like you just, you're going with like the story and yeah. you're just kind of playing, you're, you're always honing in on, you set intentions and you find more along the same mm -hmm. route, but the, the overall, the Shape. feeling remains the same. But like this just flipped it yeah. on its head and it was, I just found something completely, it's like it wasn't even, that was a complete different Rani. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and there is something really valuable in a rehearsal room of taking a scene and doing it the way that feels the least logical or the least natural I think is the word I'm looking for yeah going what is the least natural way for me to play this and let's just give it a go yeah and see what comes out yeah of it. how did it feel for Hadi? 
I felt like I was really trying to get her on side. Mm. Like it, it felt like a no, 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 no. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Like I, I listen to me, and I act. It's you know, as actors, you use sort of actions. Yes. Like, and a lot of a lot of them for me are sort of contain, hold her, and sort of focus her, and those become so much more intense actually when she wasn't angry, because mm. you're kind of having to go whoa. Because what? Yeah. Because what is the fight? Bad? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Because as long as someone's angry, they still care. Yeah. Even though it's such a negative emotion, because it's like they care enough to be angry. Yeah. But this was like... Just cold. It was... Get out. It was cold. <laughs> and when you're saying you're trying to hold her, with the anger, sometimes it's, it's like your run is shoving off. But this, it's like, you can hold me, but what? Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry, man. <laughs> It's not you, it's Ronnie. <laughs> it's not me, it's Ronnie. <laughs> it, was, it was very interesting, and I wonder if there's somewhere in between or certain lines where we find moments of each version, because that's another thing that we do in the rehearsal room. We try different versions, and it's never, especially in the early exploration phase, it's not one or the other. Mm. It's parts of this one and parts of that one, and then mm. how do we go from that one to that one? Yeah. But finding that there made me believe that these are two different people now. And the power dynamic that we saw in one, two was completely changed. And that's interesting and exciting. Yeah, 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 yeah. It also made me think of the thread again mm. and how a thread between people is never gone, but sometimes it needs repairing. Mm. And I almost had like a vision of an exercise where that same thread is between you, but you're trying to fix it as you were doing this scene. And it's almost like I saw Huddy like trying to tie a knot where it had broken and then Rani mm. just untying it. Mm. For self-protection as well, that's another thing that I felt Rani was doing was... Yeah. Did that feel like that for you? Yeah, it, because I did want to know. Like, yes. Because, you know, when, when she said, why didn't you come and find me? There is like that, okay, I, I want to know, but I don't want to invest. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It, it felt like that to me. And, it own, and I don't want to invest because I don't want to open that side of myself mm. up N now. Exposing. And I don't want, yeah. That's, it's sealed yeah. away. It's, 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 not, it's in a place where it doesn't affect me in my day-to-day -day life and it's mm. not bothering anyone and it's, I'm okay with that. It's yeah. like that. Yes, and it, it, <laughs> that's how I felt watching it as well. Yeah. Because another thing that I feel like is such a theme for me in this play is trust. And especially yeah. for Rani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where she places her trust and where it's broken and where it isn't broken. And as far as she's concerned here, what has trust been in this relationship? Yeah. No, it's, yeah, I think that she's, I mean, I think that she, she loves him, but yeah, she doesn't trust him. And I've said this to you before. Mm. She does, because, He's not been around and his presence has been so in and out and, and when he was around, it, the last time that they, they were together, like it kind of was quite, there was tension. Um, so yeah, I think, I think it's one of those things where like you're really in love with an idea of a person mm. and you're living in a different timeline. If that person actually showed up, you maybe wouldn't really know <laughs> what to do. What to do? And it's always like that's happened for both of them. Both of them had a, a fantasy of this moment, and it is just not that no. for either of them. No. Interesting. Yeah. Great work.